that the steering committee finally put together some priorities for the cardinal and for all of us um, and they did that by selecting certain areas and recommending to the cardinal that beginning this July we have an entire year dedicated just to the teens and young adults. The following year, we would recommend that the year be dedicated to Sunday Mass. And then the third year would be dedicated to the formation of parents of children receiving the sacraments. And then the last year, the fourth year, would be dedicated, again, as kind of a recapit recapitulation, to the life of the church, especially the sacramental life of the church, and how the church itself is a sacrament in our world. Um, and those recommendations were given, if I can go back just quickly, the year of the teen and young adult was selected. There could have been many other areas of focus for evangelization, but what all the research shows is that people make a decision whether or not they're going to continue to practice their faith by age 24. And those who decide to move away from the faith, at least in that next cohort of generations, for the most part don't return to the practice of their faith. So it seemed to the steering committee there was a special need to address the teens and the young adults. Also, the research shows that those who continue to practice their faith on 18 different variables, there was only one consistent variable for those who continued to practice their faith, and that was, as teenagers, they continued to go to Sunday Mass. So that cohort seemed important to us, and that's why we recommended to the Cardinal that that first year be the year of the teen and young adult. The second thing in terms of Sunday Mass, because of the importance of the Eucharist in our own lives uh, as people of faith uh, and for the community of the church, uh, but also from the feedback we received, about 25, 26% of our people still go, do go to Sunday Mass every week, but there's about 26 to 28% who go about once a month. But in both groups, they said they still felt Sunday Mass was very important, <coughs> but they weren't too sure why. And so the importance of Sunday Mass, but also understanding why the Eucharist is so important in our lives as communities of faith and also as individuals living out our faith in the world, it seemed to us that we needed more evangelization, education, and formation in that area, and so we recommended that as our second year. In terms of the third year, the parents of people receiving the sacraments, part of the feedback that came back from the 8,500 respondents, not only in that first cohort, the people who are still going to Sunday Mass every week, but in the second cohort, more than 80% of the people still felt it was terribly important for their children to receive the sacraments. But again, some of the feedback was they did not feel prepared to help their children understand the importance of the sacramental life of the church. And so to gear that third year toward parents who still feel it's very important that their children receive the sacraments, even if they themselves are not going every Sunday, to help them better understand, not only so they can help their children into the experience and the practice of those sacraments, but also for themselves. Um, and then finally, to recap everything, as I said, under the heading of the life of the church, the sacramental life of the church, and the church as sacrament in our world. Um, we thought we would use the model of Catholics come home, and what I mean by that this is just a listing of priorities, a plan for our future. It's not a plan of implementation. And the implementation side would have to be still worked out, strategized, planned through. 
but we would use the model of Catholics come home in the sense that each parish would implement the year of the teen and these other three years in ways that they feel are most effective in their setting. Through the various agencies of the archdiocese, we would provide resources for the parishes, as we did with Catholics Come Home this past year, to do the work of implementation at the local level. We would also try to offer some models for people, things that have worked either in other parishes within our diocese or in other dioceses, as they have concentrated on these same themes. Again, it would be left to the parishes to have smaller groups that would work on the implementation side, which would be appropriate in your own settings. So over these next three years, we will be working at the diocesan level to develop these resources and offer strategies for implementing these various concentrations. Uh, and then we would be encouraging the parishes to have committees as you did this past year for Catholics Come Home that could implement at the local level these various initiatives as we're moving ahead as the church. Um, you will receive a copy of this plan. We, we have one more meeting uh, at the beginning of November. It will then be presented to the Cardinal for his final approval and then all of the priests and all of these other groups that I mentioned previously that we had surveyed initially will receive a copy of this planning document. And then as we go along, in terms of the implementation side, we will try to have conversation as to the best ways of implementing each of these years and be sending out information on that as well.